Hi, and welcome to Crypto Crazy. I'm Cal, and today I'm going to talk to you about the market in general. Now, there's a lot of questions out there. Are we in a bear market? Is crypto crashing? And it's always hard to tell what's going to happen in the market next. But I just want to share with you my experience of what's happened in the past, what I think is going on now, and certainly what some other YouTubers are saying out there, the predictions that they're giving, and how I fell into this sort of trap in the last market run as well. In, in 2018, when there was a bear market and the prices going were going down, there were a lot of YouTubers out there who do have quite a large following who were sensationalizing and saying, no, it's going to go back up, it's going to go back up, you should buy. So if we just have a look at the market collectively, and if we see the market cap here on CoinMarketCap website, it's, at, it's less than what it was at the all-time high by 50%. So at around about 2.6 trillion, it's now below 1.3 trillion. So more than 50% has gone. And as we can see, some of the big coins in a week have lost a considerable amount. Binance coin nearly 30%, Bitcoin more than 20, Ethereum nearly 30% percent there as well so significant amounts lost cardano 30 percent and so th th there are a lot of people out there who are saying well we're not in a bear market it's only a bear like event and i think one thing that needs to be considered and, and i'm just going to show you last bull run so at the beginning of 2018 when we hit over 800 billion in terms of market cap we saw the price begin to go down now when it had even gone down to february it had gone down by more than 50 percent 60 percent or so and there were a lot of individuals out there who were saying no no this is not a bear market this is you no know, just a slight correction which is fine it can it can potentially happen and it needs to be looked at what the period of time is and before I continue here, I just want to bring your attention to this. Yes, it's gone down, but the market has tried to recover a few times, and since then it's gone further down. Now, that doesn't mean that it couldn't go up, and I'm going to talk about the volume here as well, and it moving sideways, and the duration, so do, do listen to that. But going back to 2018, when it went down and started to pick back up again, there were a lot of there were a lot of YouTubers who were saying, see, we told you so, buy, buy more, buy big. You know, now, now it's a discount. Now, I think the way to always look at it and way to always approach it is if you are always buying it on a regular basis, you will get a, a, a low average. So if you went all in up here where there was a lot of you know FOMOing in, then that is not great because when it goes down, you're not going to have any more money to invest in. Whereas if you only put in a small amount, you can you can put it in when it's going down. And like I always say, when it's going up, you can always take small profits as well. Because if it goes down, then you took it at a good time. If it continues to go up, you have an opportunity to take more profits at a higher amount. So you can't time the top, you can't time the bottom. No one can. No one can know what's going to be happening next as well. But you can implement sensible strategies and have a look at the potential risk and the likelihood of something happening. And that's what makes for good crypto buying and investing. So this isn't uh, investment advice or financial advice, but it's what I do. So I'm just sharing in terms of the way that I do it and the way that I see it as well. So there are a lot of YouTubers out there who are again saying, well, you know, it, it, this is just a slight correction. We're going to be going up. We're going to be... It makes for great entertainment. It makes for, makes for great sensualization of the prices in the crypto market. But what is the most likely to happen? And one thing to always look at is the volume too. And from the highs and when the volume starts to go down and it can't pick back up, then that is an indicator that there isn't that appetite for people to start buying and the price to be pushing up because there is as much selling as well. So just going back to what I was talking about here, and, and it's gone down a significant amount, but what we've seen here, it's been six, seven weeks since the all-time high, and we're less than 50% from, from that now in terms of the value. And if we just continue keep on going here, and I can understand why people are saying this isn't a bear market yet, because it hasn't been long enough to be a bear market, but could it be the beginning 
of one. Now we're seeing a downward trend and what tends to generally happen, as you can see here, even before it's starting to pick up, is once it hits a point, there, there will come a point where people no longer sell. And that's pretty much the bottom. So no matter what is happening, no matter what news is coming out, and that those are the people who are in it for such the long term that they will not sell what they have. And in that instance, that is pretty much the bottom of any market. So what tends to happen then? Then there needs to be some sort of stimulus after a while. Now, last time around, from pretty much the middle of 2018 to, to, to the middle of 2020, we, we saw pretty much a low, constantly low market. Do I think it's going to be that low for that long this time around? I think not. What we're seeing is crypto being more adopted. It's becoming a bit more stable as well. Like we see here, we saw the the market pretty much in less than a year there, in probably about 10 to 11 months, 10x. So we can see the market cap there is 260 billion or so. And for it to go to 2.6 trillion, that is 10x in as a whole market in the space of less than a year. So we're, we're, we're seeing that there is more money being involved in it. There is more adoption. There are more startups that are adopting blockchain technology, even in Silicon Valley. This is very, very different from the last bull run. A lot more money and we're seeing funds and institutional money being involved in it as well. So I think what we saw in terms of the crash last time, where even some of the big coins like Ethereum lost pretty much close to 90% of its value. I don't think we're going to be seeing that this time around from the all-time highs, personally. I also don't think we're going to see this long duration of the price unable to pick back up again, which was around about two years, uh, and pretty much three years until we saw another all-time high. So I don't think that's going to happen again, but I do think what you need to do is be wary of what is going on here in terms of the price action and not really buy into the whole it's going to be at crazy prices very very soon now i've seen the likes of bitboy crypto who has the largest crypto channel as he says himself in the crypto world saying that bitcoin initially was going to be something like 300,000 or more by by september and then saying it would be half a million, 500,000 in price. Now, there would, be, there would be a lot of people who were listening to those videos a month or two ago, buying at all-time high because there is this analysis that it could potentially be going up another close to another 10x in such a short period of time. Now, there are a lot of people who are new to the market, who are newbies, who are not as, as well-versed in what happens and how the crypto world works who would be buying in with these promises almost because it's not this could happen i predict it's this is definitely going to happen that's the way that some of these youtubers do say it so on that reason they put a lot of money in and it starts to go down and they're probably going to see these lows for 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 a while potentially and i think it's understanding that that's not the way it always works you can't really pr predict now this could potentially go back up again i'm not saying that's the case well like i said before it's all about taking a logical approach in what is most likely happening. The volume is going down. If you see the volume here as well, 300 million, and now we're seeing it, at, it is around about 100 million. That means there is there's less buying and selling. People are not as interested. And more likely, if the price is going down, even though the volume is going down, there's be more selling than there is buying, which is always the case. But there, there, there isn't as many people buying as there was before when this was pushing up a great deal so what is is to be done going forward now if you bought at the all-time highs then i think you should always take a long-term view and i personally would wait out to see what happens in the next bull run whenever that may be you know long investment should be for long term anyway uh, unless you're doing something like day trading which you're looking at very very short periods of time and it shouldn't really matter if you're in a bull market or a bear market because you're looking for those very very small gains on a daily basis if you are interested now i i personally like to buy in even when the market is going down because it's a small amount and i'm averaging down because i don't know tomorrow if it does shoot up i'll be glad that i bought if it does continue to go down i get more opportunities 
to be able to buy and average my price down and and again i'll be holding it for the long term to see what what's going to happen but please don't do take with a pinch of salt what some of these youtubers do say even when they're making these crazy predictions also do bear in mind when when there are individuals out there and, and articles as well who are saying that we are not in a bear market to, to bear in mind it's, it's because we haven't done it long enough now if this continues to go down and let's say it goes down to one trillion even below one trillion and we've gone a few months down the line they will then probably say we are in a bear market so they're not saying it now because it looks like the duration of from being from that all-time high and being a downtrend is too short but it could potentially be the beginning of an all uh, a bear market now if you didn't sell on the way up and you've got to this position I, I i think that there's no need to panic i think that is something that can happen and i must admit from myself i i was buying in heavily here in the last bull run and i kept on buying and at the top i bought as well and even when it was going down a little bit there there was this whole sort of idea of it's going to go back up is what you, youtubers were saying and when it would go down it's don't worry it's going to go back up and it'll go back up and it'll go back down even further and they would continue to say that and then after a while they go quiet because they don't really know what else to say and in my instance it, it was a bit of an issue because i did need some of that liquidity and so i did have to sell much lower but i think if you've got the the long-term view that you can keep hold of it then i think that is the sensible thing to do so there you go hopefully that gives you a bit of insight a bit of understanding and, and i'll be able to share some of my knowledge as well about what's going on in the market like i said there would be a lot of questions out there are we in a bear market are we in a crypto cash crash clearly we have lost a lot of the value what's going to happen next no one really knows there's a lot of speculation i think the, the wise things to do is have a strategy try to keep long term i think that's always the best if you have been buying in the all terms high do not panic hopefully you're in it for the long term if you are trying to get in now then like myself i i do like to 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 get in even if it's going down i do not try to time the top or the bottom that's the most sensible way to do it you could always miss opportunities if you're trying to time the market so there you go that's my insight hopefully you found that useful informative if you have please do give me a like please do consider subscribing i usually bring out videos about new projects anything that i think will bring value but i think it's also good to uh, share these type of uh, videos as well with knowledge and experience and especially when there can be a little bit of a panic or a bit of a wondering of what could potentially be happening in the crypto market especially if you're new to it as well so if you do like the sound of that do consider subscribing but there you go i'm cal this is crypto crazy and i'll see you in the next one bye